Pat Boland said he never wanted the success of the Denver Broncos to be about him. But in more than 30 years at the helm, Boland became the very model of an NFL owner. A Wisconsin native with Canadian roots, Patrick Dennis Boland graduated with degrees in both business and law from the University of Oklahoma. By 1984, Boland was a successful executive in his family's oil drilling business. Then he turned to football, purchasing the Broncos for $78 million. Despite three Super Bowl losses in four years in the 80s, Boland developed a strong relationship with quarterback John Elway. After 14 seasons, all with Elway at quarterback, Boland's Broncos finally won their first NFL title, defeating the Packers in Super Bowl 32. This one's for John. Denver would win back-to-back -back Super Bowls, culminating with Elway's retirement. But after only one playoff win over the next 10 seasons, Bolin looked to the past, bringing Elway back to run the Broncos' front office. With the addition of coach John Fox and the signing of quarterback Peyton Manning, the team won the AFC title in 2013, eventually losing Super Bowl 48 to the Seahawks. In 2014, the Broncos announced Pat Boland would cede his duties as CEO due to Alzheimer's disease. It's uh, going to be very hard to not see him walk through those front doors every day. Pat Boland's six Super Bowl appearances are tied for the most by any owner in NFL history. In 2014, Boland was honored with a statue in the Broncos' Ring of Fame Plaza. When you look at what he's done for this city, what he's done for this state over the last 30 years, um, what he's done for the NFL as a whole, um, will never be matched.